That's where the bear was. We don't want to have anything to do with bears, do we? <laughs> These woods are beautiful. Another guard! There are only guards on this road. Oh my god! It was right behind me! Oh wow! Oh guys, you're you're in Oh Got it. All the NPCs they tend to get in the way and Are you well horse? <laughs> Did you see the spider paralyzed the horse? Greetings. Greetings, thank you for the help. It was right behind me this thing. And a Gorat uh, with the nothing. Rakash would never touch rat meat. It's probably diseased. And if you've noticed, um, Grakash doesn't touch mort flesh either, even though it is an alchemy ingredient that she could use. But she doesn't. Beautiful. See? Oh god, what's happening there, imps? Oh, good god. <sighs> Even the deer went away. She was like, oh no, something's about to happen. I'll try to ignore them. Unless they come at me. Oh, they are in the middle of the road. Wow. That's me. He's firing. The guards are back there. So one was definitely in my way. But the other I the others I will try to leave alone. Oh what's that? Is that a spree gun? This one in the distance? It looks like a spree gun. And it's surrounded by wasps. Oh god, you noticed me. Oh, don't zigzag. <laughs> don't zigzag. You confuse Grakash. Well, maybe we can get close. And take a look at that spreaker. It is a spreaker, by the way. And, um... Yeah, there are wasps next to it. Uh, by the way, they tend not to be aggressive, actually. We've seen them only in books. Right, Grakash? That's the first one, I think. Let's leave it alone. They have taproot, if you manage to kill one, but really, they don't do anything. Ah, see, this is why I like having good weather. Just don't lag game and don't crash, please. <laughs> I'm serious. This way. We're not gonna get lost this time. Look how beautiful these eyelid ruins look. When you can actually see them. <laughs> that's another imp? Yes. And that's where uh, the Daedric Shrine is. I think uh, Grakash wouldn't know, but um, it might be Clavicus Vile. Shrine. Wait, no? That's just a random... Traveler or a bandit. Let's move on. This, the shrine is in front of me. Yeah, it's there. I can see the head of the statue. So that guy was probably a bandit. Or maybe just a traveler. 
Let's be positive. It doesn't have to be a bandit. Ah. Thankfully, our journey is uh, rather uneventful. Mm. When we get to uh, the Imperial City, Grakashi will have to stop at the market. We have a couple of things to sell. So, we will stop by. We have time. Because... Uh, Travelling from Skingrad to the Imperial City does not take that much time. I think we have a couple of things we could eat if we are uh, hungry, but uh, Grakasha would rather have uh, dinner um, on a nice table tonight and that will be it. Ah, the Arcane University just right there. Rekas doesn't know what to think of it because she's having a little bit of, uh, well, you'll see. <laughs> she's musing about things. Wow. And she doesn't really like where uh, her thoughts are going and the conclusions that she's making. There's a bear there. Avoid. But uh, she's going to get back to the university. She's going to, well, conclude the task she was assigned. And um, talk with Raminus about it. Hello. Hello. Hello, nice armor. And um, she she will be continuing her studies the best she can. Give her best, as she always does. Look at the view. <laughs> when it is a nice day, you can see Bruma. So peaceful. Not even... Oh, good lord, what's happening there? <laughs> you guys, you just went eating and now you're taking your horses and moving on? Good. <laughs> Hello, donkey and cow. You know what? I'm a little bit hungry. I'm going to have a bite. I should have some dried fish. Ah, let's have two. <laughs> dried fish for the road. I wish every day was just this good. I mean, I like the weather. Um, changing in game but sometimes sometimes it's just it's so bad for recording it's not bad for playing not at all but for recording eh. <laughs> that horse is still there. Drakash has never visited the waterfront of the Imperial City and she won't. <laughs> I don't think she will ever go there. It's not the kind of place she would like to be in or a respectable woman would be in at all. You have my ears, uh, Good morning. I see we have uh, uh, a horse here as well, right in front of the city door. Fantastic. At this point in time, I'd probably worry if there wasn't none <laughs> standing in front of the door. Let's go to the market then. And then straight to Raminus. They sure do sell food. It's you. Yep. Hi. So many people. Hello there. Is there a better bookseller in the city than Fintus? 
Hello there. Ah, definitely. I ran into some goblins in the woods not long ago. Nasty little beast. Let's go. I avoid those things whenever I can. Through the emperor way. Safe travels. Goodbye. What is it, citizen? Ah, good morning. Hail, good citizen. Good morning, everybody. Everybody is in a good mood today. But well, because the weather is good. That's why I tell you. That is it. Should we go visit the palace? We've never gone. And we are in time. I mean. We have a couple of hours to spare. Oh. All visitors to the Imperial Palace are asked to keep their voices down, especially if Council is in session. Sure. I'm just visiting. I don't know, is there even anything to visit here? Except, you know, going inside. Would it be even possible to visit the council room? Let's see. Are there council chambers? Those are private quarters. All citizens are welcome in the Imperial Palace, at least on the first two floors. Well, thank you! What a splendid armor you have! So this must be the second floor. <gasps> this is the room of the Council! I mean, this is the top of the room of the Council. Ah, that's where the Council sits, not the Mage's Council. The government council. How beautiful. I can't really see very well. I can't even see the chairs. <laughs> Come on. There are guards everywhere, of course. <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> see? There are the chairs where the council sits. Really cool. There's nobody now. This no session. Well, of course, if I am allowed to roam around here. Oh well. That's that would be Chancellor Okato, I believe, and he always sits there. He doesn't have a routine, poor thing. I could give him one. I could give him a room and everything. <laughs> so I toggled my collision just to let you see under there. Ah. You can even sit here for a while and just chill. It's beautiful. Ah. This city is very beauty is very beautiful. But there are a lot of things that Krakash doesn't like. There are a lot of poor people and homeless people and well people with wicked intentions and scoundrels and thieves. All citizens are welcome in the Imperial Palace. Of course. Based on the first two floors. Thank you. I mean, I s time now. I mean, I suppose All citizens are welcome in the Imperial Palace. It would be normal in such a big city to have, you know, oh, those are the monks. These are the most priests. The ones that actually read the Elder Scrolls. I don't think we are allowed in here. No, a <laughs> basement. All visitors to the Imperial Palace anyway. are asked to keep their voices down. Yes, it would be pretty normal for a city this big to house a lot of unsavory people. The Empire is not perfect, uh, Grakash has noticed. Not as perfect as she imagined it. Oh well, we spent the afternoon in there visiting. Well, about time Grakash did this. You know, at some point, maybe she could invite Graklak and Agneta here 
and even Madzoga and Dharma. Dharma would be the easiest. I think Dharma has been to the Imperial City with their mother once for a visit. Oh, look. Look at all those people. <laughs> we actually have to go that way. Oh my god. Help. You guys. What's your story? How are you today? You're all dressed the same. <gasps> you have mustaches. Lots of people dressed all the same. Greetings to you. Greetings. Say it. Ah, you all look elegant and things. How goes it? Hello. Yes. Ah, you know, the Arboretum is great for a stroll, but uh, this part of town is even more beautiful to go for a stroll in, right? Ah, let's get to it. Hello there. Hello. Um. Well met. Well met. Greetings, Orc. Greetings. The Arcane University. Rakashi is having very different feelings coming back here now. Uh, she will need to sort them out. She will have to sort them out. Ah, you must be the Arcane University's newest addition. Yeah, that be me. Sumble Battle Mage bids you welcome. Uh, but I've been here for one year and some. <laughs> At least. <sighs> well met, Guildmate. Well met. Well met, Guildmate. If you need to get rid of something quickly, Elise. check out the copious coin Greetings, purse. Guildmate. Well met. Oh, Elise. I swear, I have to tell you what happened. Oh. Are you sure you didn't... Oh. Doesn't matter anyway. Well, I'll take my leave of you, then, fellow Magister. I've never heard <sighs> Thank you for the talk. I will go report to Raminus. All right. I see. See you. Farewell. <sighs> oh, what happened? <laughs> I know you're busy, but I well need a moment of your time. Heard Seriously? You the other provinces? All right. Nothing but please like be brief. About. I have Bye. some. Right. Research I need to tell Well, that was quick. I've been doing Hello, some research in the Hello, I've come back. As you see. Have you been to Skingrad and seen Count Hasseldor? Yes, I have. Of course. There has been an accident. As you probably know, I don't know if Adrienne's report reached you. Uh, well, I was lucky because uh, uh, the Count himself... Um, actually help me out so yeah i've done what i've been asked i suppose saved you did he well that's a good sign <laughs> i must apologize it was never the council's intention to put you in harm's way well i'd hope so why wasn't i told the truth the count's unique nature is not public knowledge the council wishes to keep it that way. But... At the time, it was believed that there was no reason to inform you, since it was not crucial to the task you were given. For that reason, I was unable to disclose more about his true identity to you. Clearly, that judgment was in error. I apologize. Well, Grakash would have many things to say at this point, but she won't. Uh, she would just accept the apology and i mean <laughs> she's not gonna talk her heart out to raminus polos of all people <laughs> first because she's embarrassed but also because uh, it's her superior uh, grakash is not the kind of person that would challenge her superiors as you've probably learned during the whole um 
let's play she will be upset but only with herself she'll keep it to herself and probably uh, talk uh, with elise some more because she already talked with elise and elise actually um managed to calm her down so why was i sent to skingrad then archmage traven feared that sending a high-ranking official with the guild might draw too much attention and provoke a reaction from the count we were also concerned that it might drive any necromancers in the area underground, making them more difficult to root out. All right, so... Well, Grakash is understanding now what happened properly, but she still doesn't approve of it. Um, <laughs> she doesn't like being on the receiving end of this kind of um, machinations. <sighs> Well, I see. We simply wanted to survey the situation in Skingrad. Our relationship with Hasseldor is tenuous at best. Why? The Council has agreed to keep his nature a secret. And in exchange, he occasionally provides us with useful information. Information about what? Oh, God, this is really... Grakash still thinks that it's not proper to have a vampire running around in Skingrad and even less being the Count of Skingrad, but of course she's gonna keep this to herself uh, because, uh, well, she's realizing that the connections and informations are um, more important to the Guild and the University and the Council of Mages than... Um, Property, not property in the sense of uh, owning things, but things being proper. And <laughs> why does Hasseldor aid you? I, I would like to know what kind of information can he give you. Well, maybe he gives them information about necromancers and, uh, you know, vampires, other vampires possibly. Rakash wouldn't really think that much about this, would she? As a vampire, the Count has few allies he can trust. He has disguised his nature from most, but cannot hide it from the Council of Mages, so he approached us with an accord. As you have seen, that agreement is under a great deal of strain lately. The Count does not agree with certain policies the Guild has established. He doesn't agree with the necromancy uh, policy because, well, I can see, not Grakash, I can see why he wouldn't. By the way, I wouldn't agree either, but I'm not Grakash. <laughs> Yeah, why do you protect a vampire? Especially a vampire that doesn't approve of the recent rightful changes, right? It's not quite that simple. Hasseldor is powerful, to be sure. But the Council does not consider him to be a threat. Well, I would think so. After all, he has ruled over Skingrad for quite some time, without incident. Yeah. Yes, of course. Grakash will not say anything. But um, she hopes <laughs> that the council is not afraid of one vampire, because otherwise, I mean... But now you no longer trust him. We feared Hasseldor may have been involved with the necromancers. Thanks to your involvement, it would seem that he is not. At least, not for the moment. We will continue to monitor the situation, but I assure you, we will make no further attempts to mislead you. You have done your job admirably, and I thank you for it. Well, thank you. Can I advance? Your services to the Guild have not gone unnoticed. As of this moment, you have gained the rank of Evoker. Along with your new rank, please take this amulet. May it help keep you safe 
in times of danger. Oh well, you got a reward, Grakash. <laughs> now this will make her a little bit happier because she always needs uh, magical items well, she cannot buy. Really. She also likes this being rewarded, about, rightly all. so. Such a hideous discipline. All that blood and rotting flesh. Well, Grakashi needs to go rest. <laughs> Ellie is being very passionate <laughs> about something and well met. Guildmate. Well met. She was well talking met. with Myron like she always does, right? And Myron is disapproves of the choice uh, of banning necromancy, like I do, not Grakash, but like I do. Oh, we'll have to go to the Hello, market guildmate. tomorrow then. It's way too late. Greetings, guildmate. Hello. Greetings, guildmate. Greetings, guildmate. She's... How are you today? Oh. Fantastic. Ah, she Thanks was uh, waiting to talk with that guy. Good. She's always Good. moving Good. around, and Grakash couldn't uh, like figure that. out why <laughs> she was staring at the well. Well, probably she was. Uh, um, uh, Fetching water, because um, that was uh, one of the two Kajits that ran around the university cleaning up. These two Kajits have access to everything. I'm not even joking, because, I mean, when you have to clean, you have to have the keys for every room, right? And... Um, the two of them even have the keys for the research institute and the repository. It's incredible. They must be very trusted. Because if you think about it, they get access to areas in which not even Grakash is allowed. <laughs> which is astonishing. Anyway, <laughs> that was just a random information. Grakash knows everything about them. She talked with them lots. Um, these two Kajits live with um, an Argonian called uh, Great Road. Uh, Grakash doesn't remember in which um, uh, district of the Imperial City, but um, he rents them his basement for very little money. Both the girls are saving a lot of money and he feels less alone or so, Grakash has been told. Apparently he's old and alone and uh, uh, both of the, girl, the girls give him a hand, you know. So let's eat something and then we're going downstairs to the bathroom. Have a good bath and just try and sleep and get back into university routine. Quickly, smoothly and uh, without thinking about stuff too much right 